20, 2020 wouldn't be uh, 2020 without ending the year in a bang with a major snowstorm. This has been the most difficult year in my lifetime. Uh, and I think that we wouldn't expect any less from 2020. Let's, uh, but our team is ready for this storm. Uh, and our team is ready for a number of reasons. One is that uh, a lot of folks that are standing behind me have done this for years and years. And um, so their experience uh, gives a lot of predictability to uh, what they know we're going to face. The storm's looking to be a relatively significant storm. Um, but the second reason is because we've had a number of meetings to plan for this storm and, um, and a staff throughout the city that are, are, have, have been through the, out this year uh, responding to crisis after crisis, and this is just one more. Uh, what we're looking at for the storm is a, uh, around 12 to 16 inches. It's gonna start um, around 5 to 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, we're gonna see, start seeing very heavy snow uh, probably around midnight. Uh, winds will be around 25 miles per hour with gusts around 45 miles per hour. And the storm is gonna continue throughout the night into uh, the morning. Uh, our concern is that at times there may be blizzard conditions and if we're seeing one to two inches per hour, it's difficult even with the 40 vehicles that we have going around the city clearing snow and the additional contractors that we're bringing on to keep up. And so it's very important that residents be patient. You're not going to open your window tomorrow morning and see clear streets, but you will see us, our teams out on the street clearing the streets as fast as possible. So we're asking folks to be patient. A couple other important things to note about the storm. Uh, first of all, I wanna remind people that it's very, very important and the property owner's responsibility to clear the sidewalks. Uh, it's particularly important because there's a lot of people that need to get around with disabilities. And so please clear your sidewalks in a way that you can imagine someone with a wheelchair getting through. Uh, our team has worked to uh, make sure that we've done outreach to uh, homeless encampments to support the seniors as well if there is the potential for example for power outages. Parking bans. Uh, there will be a parking ban that will be uh, implemented at 9 p.m. starting at 9 p.m. tonight. The blue lights around the city above the uh, traffic lights are on, notifying people. They can call that number and get details on the parking bans. Parking ban covers downtown. There will be no parking downtown on the street. Uh, also the emergency snow routes throughout the city, no parking on either side of the street. And all residential areas in the city will have even side only parking. Don't be the odd person out. Don't park on the odd side of the street. If you need a place to park and you don't have a driveway, any city school parking lot is available. There's 14 schools that typically are available, but we've opened up the parking lots of all the schools for people to park. Please take a look out when you go to those schools. There are some signs that indicate where you park. Some of the schools don't have those signs, but if they do, please park in those areas with those signs. Additionally, there are several uh, parking lots downtown uh, through our partnership with the Parking Authority, Crown, Granite, Temple, that are $3 a day, which is a steal. Uh, so we encourage you to park there as well. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to other folks in, in case I missed something. Um, although I got a lot of things, I did all right. And I also wanted to thank all the Rantunes and all the Decola for being here. These guys show up everywhere and uh, you are our support and our voice in the neighborhood. We're gonna have a briefing shortly with the Alders, um, but thank you for being here. Rick, did I miss anything? You wanna? I think, I think you're good. I think you got everything. No, good. I missed something, I have come your on. Gloves? What, what's that? Can I have your gloves? <laughs> So Rick, Doug, you, you want to add something uh, here? Tony's got a question, but happy no, no, no. To, Rick, can you yeah. talk about Go ahead. where you're going to put the snow? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, or, of course. Or, Good morning. Yeah. Uh, this is a recipe here. You know, high winds, snow, sleet, freezing rain. This is going to be a mega storm for us. Uh, we're asking people just to have some some patience. Uh, we'll get to you as soon as possible. Tonight, as you know, when the snow begins, uh, we'll have as many trucks uh, as possible, up to, up to 45, which is a good number of trucks. I think the important thing here is 
We need people to stay off the streets. I think it's critically important. Uh, as you know, 12 inches of snow in the city of New Haven is difficult because we have nowhere to put it. Uh, we may have to remove some of it. Uh, we have areas that we do dump snow, but it's, this is going to be a, this is going to be a tough one. Um, you know, we have a great team. Uh, we've come a long way uh, through the support of the mayor, through the support of the board of alders, our team, public works and parks. These guys, they're, they're going to they're going to be at this first thing. They're going to work through the night. Uh, they're going to be in blizzard-like conditions. This is not going to be an easy storm. It's going to be difficult. We need we need help from the public to do their best to stay uh, off of the roads. Um, but again, we've been in this for the last uh, nine months together uh, with a lot of folks. Uh, we don't expect anything different. Uh, we expect people to help us out. Uh, we'll get through this as a team. Uh, we've always said our public safety folks here are second to none, and uh, we'll get through the storm uh, with 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 the help of this team. So I'm going to ask Jeff to come up. I mean, Jeff is uh, our, our director of public works. Uh, and look, you know, these guys do a great amount of work. It's continual. It's through the night. Uh, no one, no one, no one likes when a truck comes by and pushes the snow back into their driveway. Um, but unfortunately, uh, they have started an, an educational awareness to tell educate the drivers we, we we try to do quality assurance to make sure that we're doing the right things and all of these programs right here right here this is all new stuff what well, we've worked on it with the board of alders are just a great team so uh you'll you'll see work being done you'll see great work and we'll continue to keep these streets safe uh hopefully by the weekend everybody will be traversing around here with no problem at all it's a holiday we recognize that we're going to work. We're going to work hard for the residents to get the streets as safe as possible as quickly as possible. So I'm going to turn it over to Jeff. Thank you. So I, I think the mayor and Rick did a great job in really explaining what we do. Uh, and the question was asked, where are we going to put the snow? Again, during the storm, we don't place the snow. We push it to maintain and open up those streets. The cleanup is a separate operation, and we'll deal with that probably Friday, Saturday, and maybe into Sunday again. Uh, and there may be some removal as uh, Rick talked about. Our staff is well prepared. We have materials on site. It's been a long time for our residents. Again, the expectation, as the mayor said, bare pavement, we will get there. Just be patient with us, uh, but we will get there. We're gonna deliver a superior product. And again, this is a, a team effort. The team, the new team of Parks and Public Works, uh, we've talked about it merging again, and Parks vehicles will be out there as they have before, but a little bit better communication. I think that's where we've improved upon over the last few years, the communication that we've developed is fantastic. So we're here to uh, provide a good service. New Haven, our roads will be safe. Uh, we're just uh, you know, uh, anticipating a big storm uh, and we'll go from there. But uh, the team behind us, again, great, great guys. Thank you. Jeff, have you. Have you had any staffing issues? You know, the state has talked about what's going on with uh, COVID. Have you had any trouble? No, you know, and I think the city has done a fantastic job uh, since March of uh, Parks and DPW. We've been staffed pretty much 100%. We have had a, a couple of incidents with COVID, not spreading within just like uh, the households people are having outside, we're fully staffed. Uh, most of our, our staff, there may be a couple members out, but no, all our trucks will be staffed pretty much with parks and DPW personnel. We do have a contingency plan that we utilize other departments, the fire department, the police department, if needed. But right now, we're running fine. We're, we're, we are good to go. Good question. Yeah, 45 So our, our facility here holds about 1,000 cubic yards and we'll use that strategically through the storm. So we'll start, we've already started with a brine just similar to the state of Connecticut. We make our own brine. We've been doing that for a few years. We do also utilize some sand with our mix. Uh, again, sand is only used for traction, but this facility here can only hold so much. It gets us through a couple storms. We'll utilize the sand and there's a couple piles over to the side of us over here. One is a straight sand, but the other one does have a mix in it with the salt. So start the storm, 
will be using the salt. During the storm, as the roads get slippery, our men are trained, they will be putting down some of that sand salt mix. Again, we use it conserve it very, you know, lightly conserving it. Again, we're very aware of the environment, but we do utilize some of the sand throughout the night. And then uh, as our cleanup operations, we do have a treated salt in here as well. As the temperatures do get colder and the roads ice up, it's treated with some magnesium chloride. It works at colder temperatures. That's a decision the team makes, but we'll be using all of those. And we still have some beet juice uh, that, that we'd never used last year. But we have, if needed, we can put down some liquid uh, applications as well. How many of these trucks are city trucks and how many are outside trucks? The city is running 40, uh, 40 plus vehicles and we have a subcontractor right now assisting us with an additional eight. And they will concentrate on the arterial roads starting out, but we have great communication with them as well. And we'll be moving them around as needed throughout the storm. What time did you say the plows will be going out? We're, we're looking again. Once the snow flies, our trucks will be out there just pre-treating the roads. But we think when the bulk of the storm comes in, you will see all 40 plus trucks starting and throughout the night. We, we, there's a couple, couple other quick updates. Um, so EOC, Emergency Operations Center, will be opened. Uh, people should be calling 203-946-SNOW, right? Uh, if they have any issues or concerns. And I wanted to hand it over to Dr. Dallal to, uh, to talk about some of the work his department's doing. Hi, good morning, everyone. I just want to say a few words about how we're trying to protect our most vulnerable citizens and residents uh, uh, during the storm. Uh, as you know, for over the past week, we've opened up warming beds, warming center beds for those who are unsheltered. Uh, that has been at near a capacity over the past week. Uh, so what we're doing to accommodate more spaces, we're shuffling people into different rooms, uh, different bed spaces, COVID spa safe, uh, to try to open more capacity to the warming center. And the outreach and engagement teams that typically works with our unsheltered population are, have been in the field this morning to let them know, get the word out that there are spaces get, uh, available for them uh, uh, to come out from the, from the storm. Uh, in addition, we are going to have a backup space available, just a refuge space at 200 Orange Street that will open later this afternoon uh, should folks need it. Um, I also want to share that uh, I, I know the mayor mentioned it's very important for sidewalks to get cleaned out. Uh, we our elderly services department is um, uh, partnering with interfaith volunteers and there's a limited number of um, uh, you know, opportunities for, for, for older adults and, old, and seniors. Uh, to sign up for volunteer snow removal. So I'm going to share that number with you. Pardon me as I look at my uh, phone there. Uh, so interfaith volunteer care givers, uh, the number uh, that seniors can reach if they need assistance with volunteer snow removal is 203-230-8994. Again, that's 203-230-8994. Um, and uh, finally, I'll say that our uh, health department staff is also on standby should there be power outages uh, and there are any food safety concerns with the restaurants. Uh, so I'll take any questions or, uh, you know, turn it yeah, back over to the last thing. Yeah. Uh, I, so, so if people want the recorded update, uh, it's, it's 203-946 SNOW. If they need to contact our emergency operations center and talk with a person, it is 203-946-8221. So that's really important for people to know. Matt, you look so cold. Um, so we'll, we'll try to wrap this up. Just one final thing. I mean, with COVID going on and everything else, uh, just keep an eye out for your neighbor in a socially distanced way. See if you can help people out. There's a lot of people struggling right now with all kinds of uh, different issues. Keep an eye out uh, for each other during the storm. Any questions from folks? Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you.